just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. From the 8-yard line, he makes it to the 25-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 28. Somebody jumped early down there. All start offense. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still second down. Taken down right around the 22-yard line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. From their own 22-yard line, it's third down. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 18. You can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice. These guys know and trust each other, and you could see it in the way he threw that pass. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Carries the ball for a nice game. Around four yards there on the quarterback keeper. That makes it second and six. Nice run there. They get about four on that keeper. And here's another third down. On the ground, left side. He's tackled at the 13-yard line. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Georgia Tech is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. And you gotta think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. What a collision. The Tigers' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. Makes it out to about the 36. He's going to try and scramble. 
Decides to slide. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Quick strike, and he drops it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen, and he tackles him hard at the 40. That is a loss of four yards. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. He goes downtown. Almost picked off. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. Tackle made at the 30. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. Georgia Tech has a three-point lead. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. Tries to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. This offense can consider themselves very lucky to get this ball back. That's about as sloppy of an option play as you'll ever see. The timing and the focus are so important when trying to run this offense, and it looks to me like they just lost their focus there for a second. He makes his way to about the 48. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. And they make the stop, the 39-yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. That brings, that brings up second, second and one. one. Larry, Larry, Larry! Mike 12, Mike 12! Super Bowl! Cut it! Cut it! Cut it! Cut it! And he hits him hard at the 37. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37. Lateral's back, and he's got space. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 19. Gain of 18 yards. First down. Georgia Tech is up a field goal. Brought down at the 16. Hang on, everybody, because it looks like they came ready to play today. The Yellow Jackets with a three-point lead. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Pitches it. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. This guy seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. And Herbie, we got a guy down after that play. Come on. 
and he hits the PAT. So an eight-play, 70-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize the defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Fielded at the four. At the 30. Oh, what a hit. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Makes it to the 47. around the 38-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. From the 41-yard line, it's second down. The Yellow Jackets quarterback went down with that injury that you saw earlier. We don't want to speculate, but he's in the locker room and it doesn't look good. He's under some heat. He's taken down at about the 27-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. yard line. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. We're at play number nine of this current drive. The Tigers saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. He scrambles, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up. And it's off the upright. No good. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Has some daylight. He's out to the 30. Makes it out to about the 33. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. He fights forward to about the 36. And they got him for a loss. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll make it 39. Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Let's go, let's go. Throws in the middle. He's at midfield. And he's tackled at the 43.
from the 43-yard line. First down. Play fake and looking to run. Slides down to the ground. That brings him second to the Caught open field, and he's level at the 27. From the 27 yard line, first down. Now he tries to buy some time. Big opening. Tackle at the 13. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. And this play is number eight on the drive. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. The pitch, and he's got some room. The 10, and a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. From the seven. He makes it to the 28-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. They bring him down. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. He is drilled at the 12. That'll bring up third and long. So the sack makes this third and very long. That's a great tackle at the 26-yard line. You know, that's a pretty good effort here by the offense to be able to pick up some yards on the ground, but they come up a little bit short, and it's going to set up a fourth down. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. Georgia Tech's done what they had to do offensively. They've done a nice job here in the first half, partner. Boy, it's been very consistent for them, and consequently, they have a nice lead here going into halftime. But again, they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight because this offense that they're facing across the line of scrimmage on the other side of the ball, they can score in a hurry. So it's still a lot of football to be played. where the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Under heavy pressure. He airs it out through his hands. Taken down around the 45-yard line. First half is over, and this is why they play the game. 17 to nothing, Georgia Tech. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation 
that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnover. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four ax handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Georgia Tech's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Hand off to the right. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. So it's second and 12. Ball on their own 23. Complete. It's the junior. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. Nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. to about the 47-yard line. He's on the run, and they get the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. Makes it out to about the 49. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. He fights forward to about the 49. play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. And he throws right away. And 
and they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. And he tackles him hard at the 32-yard line. They make the stop right around the 40. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. push him out at the 49. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. And he hits him hard at the 48-yard line. He's really quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. Tackle made around the 48-yard line. the 17-yard line. They're back in the red zone where they have really struggled lately. Up the middle for a nice game. Here's an opening. Big play, and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. He tackles him for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Carries the ball for a nice game. <laughs> Diving for extra yardage. Four yards there on the old quarterback keeper. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Fourth quarter is here, and it's starting to look more and more like an upset is imminent. 17 to nothing, Yellow Jackets. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's taken down at the one. It's second down. They've got their backs against the wall. And down. 
down he goes at the nine yard line. That's a deal. That'll bring up third and two. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike Blue, Mike Blue. And he makes it out to about the 11 yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 11-yard line. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. He's out to the 30. He's knocked out of bounds. Around the 36-yard line. That's a good for a game of 25 yards. That makes it first and ten. From their own 36-yard line. First down. Mike 12. Mike 12. I can't believe you play. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. If you don't get this one, you think you won't get this? You think you won't get this? Lateral's back, and he's got space. Runs it left for a decent game. That's a deep seven on the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49. Less than three minutes in the game. Nice run to the left there. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Oh, here we go. Oh. Mike 12, Mike 12. They'll bring him down at the 29 yard line. Game of 14 on the play. First down. From the 29-yard line, first down. He's at the 20. Makes it to the 8. They're really putting a nice drive together right now. And it seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. This is the 10th play of this drive. with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off out of bounds, and that's going to be a penalty. Free kick, kick out, out of bounds. bounds. Kicking team. His errant kick has given the offense a great starting point to begin their drive. Absolutely. The defense will have to come out with major intensity to make up for that blunder. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's pushed out of bounds at the 38. From their own 38-yard line. Second down. Under a minute left. it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Gets it. He's in space. Tackle right around the 34. Well, that's a big gain there for the offense. And all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. First and 10. Ball in 34. The Tigers call a timeout. That's their second of the half. 
The red zone has not been kind to this offense. Are they going to end this drought? And he's tackled at the five-yard line. He tried to force that one in there. Yep. And the safety made him pay for it. Great job of watching the quarterback size and even a better catch. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Close the fight. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He'll go down to one knee. Four to nothing, Georgia Tech. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action in this one? Well, Brad, this was just absolutely embarrassing. Clemson looked very out of sync out there. They couldn't even manage to put any points on the board at all. They're expecting to win this one big, which I think added a little bit more pressure to an offense that was already struggling. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.